Hello, this is Mike Kroger, Finale Inventory. Going to give you a quick demonstration on how to receive items with serial numbers or lot numbers uh, or lot IDs with the barcode scanner. So we'll begin by taking a look at um, our stock levels here in this demo account. I've got uh, two hard drives here. I've got a Seagate Barracuda and a Western Digital. And if you also notice that um, there's two, I, I've already entered in a purchase order, so I'm going to bring be bringing in two units of the Seagate and one unit of the Western Digital on the purchase order. So let's take a look at the purchase order real quick. I'm just going to go over the purchase order because this is where you would begin by receiving. So you need to have a purchase order. So I've created a purchase order. I've got two of the Seagates and one of the Western Digitals. I've also committed it. That's also key. Make sure you commit the purchase order or otherwise it will not show up in the barcode scanner. So now that I have those two, where would I start? Well, hey, I would probably suggest you go ahead and print the purchase order. So when you print the purchase order, that's going to give you a document that kind of looks like this here. So that'll give you a way to bring up the order um, by scanning it uh, in the scanner. So let's take a look at how we, we would proceed to uh, receive this unit in from the scanner. So I'm going to turn on my, my web camera here so you can see a little bit from there. I'm also going to bring up uh, my link to my barcode scanner here. So we would want to do a receive. So we're going to click on receive. It's going to ask us to enter the order ID. Well, this would be the purchase order number. So I'm going to show you here that I have the printout of the purchase order. So I would choose the receive. So I'm going to scan the order ID. As I do, it brings up and confirms that we have the demo serial number lot PO on the screen, and it's asking me to enter a sublocation for where I'm going to receive the items. So I've got two bins here in front of me. So I've got bin number eight and bin number nine. So I'm going to scan, let's say, bin number eight here. And now it asks me to scan the item that I wish to receive. So this would be the normal behavior if we had, um, if you, you know, use the scanner as you first get it. So what I'm going to do here is show you I've got a hard drive here and I'm going to scan my, my item number here. And if you notice that it just said that it scanned one of two, which we may be expecting, but, you know, it didn't ask us about the serial number. So that means that we don't have the, the barcode scanner in uh, serial number mode. So that's what we're going to want to do is we're going to undo this and we need to turn on serial numbers. So I'm going to go back to the main menu. And from the main menu, I'm going to go to more and then more and go to number 14 settings. So as I look at the settings, we're interested in the receive settings. So look there at the top four, you've got the receive settings. So number one, I want to turn on learn mode so I can learn these serial numbers. So I'm going to change that to a yes. And I'm also going to turn my serial mom number mode to uh, auto. Now, auto, we have two different methods. We have auto, which is going to ask you for a product ID, and then it's going to ask you to just scan multiple serial numbers in for that product ID. Or you could go to semi mode, which means it's going to ask you for a, for a product ID, then a serial ID, then another product ID, then another serial ID. So there's two different modes there. In manual mode, which is basically you have to drive and you have to tell it, uh, oh, hey, I want a new serial number now. So it's a lot more uh, labor intensive to go that way. But we're going to do this demonstration on auto. So I'm going to set it to auto, and now we're going to behave a little bit differently. So we're going to go to, to receive. We're going to do the exact same function we just did a while ago. So here we go. We're going to scan that purchase order again. It's going to ask us where are we going to receive it. So I'm going to scan this uh, number 8. And now it's asking us to scan the product ID to receive. So let's start off with one of the two Seagate hard drives. So I'm going to grab this one here. And of course now notice that it's asking me, okay, give me the serial number for this Seagate that I just scan. So I can see here there's a serial number barcode right here. So I'm going to grab that serial number right off the top. So I recorded that serial number and I need to go ahead and get the second Barracuda or Seagate drive. 
So notice that the enter box there is also saying, hey, if I wanted to switch to receive the Western Digital, I would press the enter key to switch to the next product. But since I know I'm getting in two Seagates, I'm going to go ahead and just go ahead and scan the serial number for the next unit. I don't have to scan the barcode again for the item number. So I'm going to pick up the next CA drive and only scan the serial number. So I've recorded the serial number of that drive. So now I have received in the two Seagate drives. I want to move on to the Western Digital. So I just need to press the enter key here. So I'm going to press the enter key and the barcode scanner is going to ask us to, hey, scan a product ID. So I'm going to go ahead and grab the Western Digital hard drive and we're going to scan its barcode. And then it's going to ask me for the serial number for this one. So I can see the serial number barcode right here on top. So I'm going to go ahead and scan it. I've got that serial number. So I've just now received in all three drives, and I've also recorded their serial numbers. So I'm done with this PO, so I'm going to go to the menu. If I wanted to re review it, I could. So I can see I've received in two of two and one of one on the Western Digital. And I'm going to go done. Let's go back, exit the main menu. Now let's sync this barcode scanner. So we're going to go ahead and sync this back up to the cloud. We can go to home here, go to barcode scanning, connect, and let's sync this back up. So now you can see that we've got the two Seagate drives and the one Western Digital. And you can see the serial numbers are all being recorded here, and they're all going into this A8 location. So I'm going to go ahead and minimize this here for you. And let's say, uh, sync this up. And that will just about do it for receiving and serialized. Now it works the same way if it's a lot ID. So let's go take a look now at our inventory stock. So as I look now, I've got two hard drives and one hard drive on hand for each of these corresponding. If I were to, to expand them out, you'll see the serial numbers. So there are the two different serial numbers for the Seagate drive and the one serial number for the Western Digital. That's how you receive serialized items with the barcode scanner.